again uh this is another vlog another segment of the bts vlog uh it turns out that saturday uh i kind of missed a day there and a lot of it has to do with the, with the way i sleep my sleeping schedule my sleeping schedule kind of throws a lot of this off let me just sort of fix you up here better there we go so i gotta have you more centered here this is the, uh, trying to get this uh arranged better so that uh i can see my screen and talk to you guys at the same time so Anyways, let me give you a time and date stamp, and this will kind of give you an idea of what's going on. It's uh, six, hour, 6 hours and 54 minutes into the day of Sunday, October 5th, 2014. And we're coming along. We're, we're, we're still doing a lot of work uh, to sort of catch up from, uh, uh, for what we're behind on. Uh, but it is coming along. There is work, uh, it, the work is getting done. Uh, there's actually a new uh, show that's now being developed. It's on the schedule now. It's called It's called uh, Toys DIY, and it's basically a toy making series uh, aimed for the, for kids and also for myself too, because it's just a lot of fun to do this to make my own toys. I can't afford a lot of the toys that that are out there, and I'm watching Bertelli and I'm watching Kitty's Mama. I'm watching uh, Mommy and Gracie. Uh, and a lot of these these, these uh, toy shows, the, the, the kids who go to these toy, f they're invited to these toy fairs and stuff like that, and they get a lot of toys. And always in the comments down below, uh, there are always kids who are watching these videos who post because they're really upset because the uh, Bertelli and these other shows get a lot of toys, and they get upset with this because they say, well, why do they get, why do these kids get all these toys and we don't? And they don't seem to understand that a, a lot of these toys are given to these uh, to Bertelli and the other kids like that because their TV shows, their, their YouTube shows are very popular, uh, and the toy companies, uh, because uh, Bertelli is popular, will give them toys, hoping they'll get into the videos, and this is a way of, of marketing and selling their toys. I mean, toy companies spend a fortune developing toys, they hope these things will sell at Christmas. Uh, they don't know exactly what toys will and won't sell at Christmas. But uh, this is what they do. And they have these toy events in New York and L.A. and so on and so forth. And Bertelli and the, uh, all these people, all these guys, uh, all these uh, YouTube shows are invited. And when they go there, you know, whenever you go to a convention, particularly if it's a commercial convention where they're, where they're exhibiting toys, electronics, or whatever, there's always, there's always a gift bag. And this gift bag contains tons of samples of the products that they hope that, that these the vendors, the exhibitors at this convention hope to sell later on commercially down the line. You know, they hope to get the stuff into retail. If you can get your product, whatever you're making, if you can get a good buzz at these conventions and enough people put up a demand for the, your product, then stores will start buying your product. And carry them because they now start seeing, okay, I have X amount of demand. I know I can carry X amount of product in my store, and I know it's going to sell. And that's actually how uh, retail commerce, work, commerce works. You go into a store, you buy a product. Well, how do they get that product on the shelf? How do they know what to buy? Well, it's these toy fairs, and particularly if you're going into a toy store. It's these, toys, these toy fairs, these, these exhibit, the, what we call the cons. This is where the, the stores go to shop for their toys. You know, if you're a shop owner and you own a toy store, you want to know what you want to know what toys to buy. Well, then you go to these toy fairs. And the thing is is these these people the people who put on the fairs and the toy which are basically the toy companies. Uh, know this. 
And but the thing is, they don't want to have all of those because it's, because it's toys and it's involving kids. They want the kids there. They want kids to be around. They want the kids to be playing with the toys. And the store store owners can see what toys are the kids' favorites. And the ones that are the favorites, those are the ones that get bought. That's kind of how it works. But the thing is, if you don't have, if you're a lot like I am, or a lot of, like like a lot of other, and I'm not saying a lot of kids because I'm a nerd. And I play with toys just the way kids do, so we're basically the same. So a lot of other kids like myself, because I'm a nerd, uh, don't have the money to go out and buy all these toys. So I learned from very young, because I had to do this when I was younger, that my parents didn't have a lot of money for toys. I learned to make my own toys. And that's what I'm going to do now. Is I'm going to bring back, the sh I'm going to bring back, bring back a show, uh, something I did a long time ago, and make my own toys. So I'm going to turn into a series called Toys DIY, and this is about making your own toys. And I stumbled on this a couple of years ago uh, when I was looking at what was going on in Japan. It's called Kawaii thing, and Kawaii has a lot of DIY, uh, do-it-yourself trinkets, toys, uh, jewelry, stuff like that. Things that you can do on your own that are very playful. And they're fun. They're actually, well, they're not, I don't want to use playful in a, in a, in a, in a, in a you know, the, the typical definition. It, in, a, in a sort of, uh, it, it's in, in some ways, it's, it's like a put down. It's not a kitty thing. It is fun, and it's not, and I think it, it's about having fun, but at the same time, you can do a lot more with it. So, uh, I'm going to bring back, the sh I'm going to do the series called Toys DIY. And ironically enough, it's going to be shot back in the warehouse, the uh, machine shop warehouse. And but, but to get there, I'm going to have to clean it up first. So you'll be seeing that. Uh, as soon as I get it to a point where I can actually film in there, right now I can't film in there. But once I get to the point where I can film in it, then uh, you'll see me cleaning it up. You'll see the progress towards it. And a lot of it's going to be in here because this is where we test out our uh, test out our shows. Our shows are tested out here in the BTS vlog, so you get to see that. Anyways, uh, I'll talk to you later because we'll do more at the music studio because that's coming along too. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, see you later. Uh, it's time for another BTS vlog, another segment anyways. Oh, let's get the timer started and then we'll do our time and date stamp right off the bat. It's 22 hours and 58 minutes into the day of Sunday, October 5th, 2014. Yeah, um, it's been a bizarre weekend. Well, not really bizarre in my case anyways, but, uh, I guess <laughs> bizarre is my, bizarre is my, uh, my new standard. It's it's the way I usually feel. It typically has to do with fatigue. Uh, <laughs> but as I, even when I'm fatigued, I, 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 uh, I manage to get work done. Uh, I said I was working on the new uh, series called uh, uh, Toys DIY, and I'm watching you know more of the Brett Taylor. It, it, it sort of came about. I've been working on it for a while, thinking about it. But it it, it, it sort of I get a uh, push or motivation to move on it. Every time I watch a, uh, a video on YouTube uh, where kids get all, they have, these kids have these channels with their parents and they get a lot of toys because they go to these toy fairs. And always in the comments down below, there's always uh, some kid who feels left out, who feels upset because they don't have the toys that they see other kids having. And I think, it, it, you know, People say, well, don't be rude, but you need to understand is that we're, we're, you need to understand where the kid is coming from. If the kid doesn't have a lot of stuff or has a rough life, in other words, the parents, doesn't have, the parents maybe don't have, have a lot of money, then the kid is hard to blame a kid for how they feel. You can try, so that may, that may, what I'm saying is you can't get mad at them, you can't yell at them and say how stupid you are because you're feeling this way. You have to sort of acknowledge how they feel, and then try to make them feel better by saying, you know, and because this, I was in the same situation, and I'm still in the same situation. I'm not going to go pay $100 for a doll. I'm not going to pay $30 for a doll or for toys. And, you know, I'm a nerd, and nerds play with toys still. And the thing is, I'm not going to spend that money 
a good money on, on on a toy like that. So where do I where do I go for toys then? Well, I can go to the dollar store, and from the dollar store, I can make my own stuff. And that's what I did as a kid. I ended up making up my own toys. I made my own toys as a kid. And I actually had a good time doing it. I mean, part of the fun of, of making toys, I mean, part of the fun of playing, you should say, is actually making the toys. The, making the toys is part of the playing. So this is the way it's going to be for Toys DIY. Uh, you know, uh, the segments are going to start off here inside the BTS vlog. You'll see them here. Uh, once I get comfortable enough and there's enough content, then I'll start doing episodes. Their own standalone episodes. Uh, the Toys DIY will be the same format, half hour format, where we'll work on a particular project or, or many projects, whatever ends up on the desk. Uh, if we haven't finished the project, we'll continue. We'll, we'll, we'll work on that project. And the thing is, that's the way it always is. is you're always thinking of ideas. You always have projects coming into your mind. Sometimes you have too many projects on your desk. Uh, and now, in many, in, in many shows, they edit the stuff out. They edit out a lot of the mistakes. So you only see the successes. I'm not going to show you just the successes. I'm going to show you the failures as well. Because the failures is failures in dealing with the failures are part of are part of the game. Sometimes things are going to work, and sometimes things are not going to work. And you know. Unless you know how to deal with that and make it part of your fun, uh, you're not necessarily going to have a good time making your own toys. So, uh, that being said, uh, you know, it's it, I have begun working on it. I'm going to show you where I'm going to do the toys. It, 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 and I think it's part of the toys if you're making your own toys. And it doesn't matter how old you are, you have to do chores. And I mean, and part of my chores is that. Uh, the area that I want to play in is a mess because I collect a lot of materials to, to use and reuse for various different projects, and they have to be sorted. And there's a huge mess back there where I want to where, where I want to build the where I want to build the uh, toys the the the, uh, the, 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 uh, the toy bench where I'm going to be making my toys, and that has to be cleaned up. I did some of the cleaning yesterday, but uh, more has to be done. <laughs> so. That's going to be the initial, the initial uh, 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 toys DIY will be me cleaning my place up. The, the area that I want to sort of fix up and use it to, as a toy bench. And so that's what I'm going to do first. <laughs> so, you know, not much change, you know, things, particularly if you're in there, things don't change that much as you get older. You're still pretty much a kid. All the work that you did as a kid, chores and everything, has to be there. Anything, in other words, you're not always playing in terms of what we call playing. But if you use your imagination, you're always playing. In other words, playing is, a, is, a, is basically a state of imagination. So if, you're all, if you can imagine that you're playing at something, like playing house or playing cleaning or, or th things like that, and if, uh, use your imagination to how the place is going to become after you've done, then you're playing. It's part of your play, and it's not so bad. So that's kind of what you have to do. And we'll do the same thing when we get back to uh, the back where I was supposed to do something yesterday, but my body's sore from walking. I don't know why it's so sore. Probably because of the boots. Uh, it's starting to get colder out now, and the boots that I was wearing are a little heavier than my usual sandals. And the first time you put the boots on, uh, when you come back, your legs are sore, the back is sore, everything is sore from the long walk. So, <laughs> that's our timer. Our six minutes is up, so... Uh, I'll talk to you more about the Greek I've been doing uh, in the next segment of the blog. Uh, I'll probably do another segment uh, later on in a couple hours. We'll go back to the warehouse, warehouse and we'll start cleaning up in there. And I'll show you where the uh, the toy bench is going to be. Anyways, uh, uh, I think we'll leave it here for now. And I'll talk to you. And I'll see you in a couple hours. Alright, take it easy. Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah. It's time for another segment of the BTS vlog. And although I know it's not exactly morning, well, <laughs> I'm just getting my day started. Let me give you a time and date stamp. It is 23 hours and 58 minutes into the day of Monday, October 6, 2014. Uh, one of the problems I've been having uh, with the uh, BTS vlogs, uh, in particular the segment here, is I'm in one of those phases again where 
There's no night and there's no day. There's just, I'm awake and then I'm not awake. And that's kind of the way things are. So that's why, yeah, it's just about midnight and I'm saying good morning. <laughs> because I just got up a little, about a half hour, 45 minutes ago. Uh, what's going to happen next week, I have no idea what my sleep schedule is going to be. Because it's, it's, it, it, there is no more sleep schedule. Uh, and when the sleep schedule goes, your uh, awareness of what time it is, you know, sort of waking time or whatever, you know, good morning, good night, good evening, so, you know, these salutations uh, uh, become ambiguous because they don't have a meaning to you anymore because you're not, you're not getting up at good morning. It's not morning, it's sometime later on during the day. And the same thing for good night or, you know, good evening, or anything, you know, things like that. That they, These things have uh, different meanings to you as a person who doesn't have a sleep schedule anymore. And it, it causes a bit of a problem. I forgot to set the timer, so let's set the timer now for six minutes. Uh, I don't know how long I've been talking for, but anyways. <laughs> uh, I, we got about a minute in there. <laughs> before I started, because we started at 58, it's just now 59, so, uh, I decided to take the week off, uh, I'm not going to do recording this week, I'm just going to do mostly cleaning and organizing, just to get, uh, get thing, everything back working in order again, uh, there's a lot of cleaning up that has to be done before I, I really move on to the next project, I'm hoping to get the, uh, studio in the warehouse done, uh, probably either, t either tonight or tomorrow, or today or tomorrow, uh, so that I can actually film a test episode uh, for Toys D I Want, and we'll start working on that uh, on a more regular basis, and I hope to get, uh, I should be, again, tonight or tomorrow, filming uh, an IMO vlog and finishing the editing work on uh, Beauty and the Geek to get Beauty and the Geek back on track again. In other words, I want to try to fix things up uh, because this up the upgrade to fourteen four really was problematic. Uh, I learned a lot in terms of my my coding work and, and debugging. I learned a lot about debugging uh, a network because uh, my network my Cyborg Alpha Net is now working properly. Uh, I learned a lot from it, but it took a lot of time. It really sort of delayed a lot of other projects. And that means we have to still work on getting uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Live back on work on, on track again. We're behind on that. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm starting to pick up my Greek again. Uh, I had dropped that for a bit during the sort of the debug period here. I've been working on it, uh, but not the way I should be working on. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Now this it. This is uncut. This is raw. I am not going to be editing this stuff out. If, uh, if if you're wondering why I don't cut these things out, it's part of scientific. It's part of the standards of scientific journaling. If you're watching a scientist, you're reading the, the scientist journal. You're not supposed to erase mistakes. What you're supposed to do is supposed to line them out and make a note of it. In other words, the line out is not supposed to blank it out so you can't see anymore. Just so you note that this was a mistake. So, uh, and then you have a correction in there. And this is the way journaling goes, is you don't correct errors. Your thoughts and ideas, even your mistakes and th mistaken thoughts and ideas, stay within the journal. You just correct it, and you make note of the corrections. If you realize you've made a mistake. Sometimes, you know, you don't, you don't catch the mistake until years later. And, you know, and, you, and on that date, you find that, you, you realize you're wrong. In that date, you write, okay, back, way back when, you reference back to where... You made the mistake, and then you say, okay, way back when, let's say in July uh, 2002, I made so-and-so mistake. You write down the mistake that you made in 2002, and you reference it, you put a mark there, you put a mark back in the, uh, on July 2nd, 2002, and you make, you make reference to your notes that you've made this mistake. This is the same thing here with this vlogging. Vlogging is logging. It's a, it's a scientific journal. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not, nerd is cool now. Uh, uh, if you see all these girls using these tech team terms like LOL or, or anything like that, 
that's all geek speak. All your acronyms are geek speak. Uh, it's, it's common geeks, it's common to nerds. And it's become popular, but... <laughs> uh, here I go again, I lost my train of thought. And, but the thing is, is that vlogging is a scientific journal, is, 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 is vlogging, and that's why, I should say, is logging, is, is keeping a written log or journal or diary. And that's why, if you're wondering why I put the time and date stamp in, in, in these vlogs, is that's because you, you, you're, you're looking at my scientific journal, you're looking at my scientific di diary, you're following me as it is. And that's why, if you're doing a vlog, you don't really want to cut things out of it because you want to be honest in there, you want to be open, and you want to be able to come back and see the mistakes, and you want other people to see your good points and your bad points. And this is part of of the YouTube community. This is what YouTube allows you to do. And if you're the type of person who enjoys this type of, you know, entertainment, this is your entertainment, you have this, a lot of, a lot of people do have this. A lot of people have these voyeuristic tendencies. In other words, you like to watch other people. If you're person who likes to watch people, then this is entertaining. This is your entertainment. And, and what we're doing here on Cyborg Alpha TV is giving you an option outside of the normal TV channels. So I know it's not going to be popular. It's not going to be popular for everybody. I know PBS is not that popular, but I think I'm going to be less popular than PBS. But, you know, that doesn't matter to me. It, it, what matters to me is, is that I like what I'm doing. And if there are some people out there who like what I'm doing too, then that's great too. Uh, but as I said, we have to get back on schedule, and that's what we're trying to do this week, is try to get back on schedule, bring up, fix up the, uh, the episode. I mean, it's already shot. There's an episode of Beauty and the Geek, and Beauty and the Geek that's already been shot. It's week 19. It's been sitting in the editing bay since then. It's now week 41. It's, 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 it's now week 41, 40, I think 41 or 43. In between there, it's later. It's, it's, it's significantly later. It's 20 weeks after, and it's still sitting in the editing bay. So, uh, the effort's going to be this week to get it out of the editing bay and onto YouTube, uh, get the uh, shooting schedule for Beauty and the Geek back on track, uh, do a test episode of Toys DIY, bring that on there. I still have to do some work to really bring in uh, the music studio onto the schedule. You know, bit by bit, we'll get things going. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, that's the way it goes for now, and I'll try to get back to you later on today. So far, it's been once a day we've been vlogging, but, you know, once a day is good enough. If I, if I can do once a day, then that's good. If otherwise, you know, <laughs> then we have another problem, and I have to start trying to make an effort to vlog every day. Uh, that's it for now. I'll talk, I'll see you guys in a couple of hours, maybe I'll check back in and, and uh, do another vlog, maybe I'll do a, a, a something, I've got enough done, if i got enough done in, sorry, if I've got enough done in the warehouse, I'll do a test vlog back there for Toys DIY, and that will be sort of the second vlog of the day. Uh, that's it. Yeah. See you later. Next vlog, or next segment of the vlog of the BTS vlogs. Bye-bye. Well, there's no time like the present to vlog. So, that's what we will do. We will vlog. Let me get the timer started. Timer started. And now, the all-important time and date stamp. It is one hour and 16 minutes into the day of Wednesday, October 8th, 2014. Yeah, my day is starting later. It's uh, uh, it's shifting. It's starting to shift again. Uh, what happened yesterday? I began working on a project in the music studio. There's always things that do, to be done in, in in every project, particularly when they first start off. There are a lot of things to do, and it's not, it's not and let me go back and correct myself with this. Not necessarily when a product starts off. Any point in time. In a product, when you try to move yourself f oh, further ahead, and you find the information to do so, you do have to take the time 
to go through the information until you get to a point where you feel comfortable that you can leave and then, you know, go on and do something else. In other words, in other words you have a sub-project, right? This is how things are done. It's one larger project and things are broken up into multiple sub-projects. And even though we talk about projects, we're really talking about sub-projects. So inside of the music studio, the music studio itself is a project. Inside the music studio, you're trying to move yourself ahead. Uh, you find out more information. And as you go through this information, you start sifting through it. Uh, you see if there's anything there uh, that will actually help you move along. And uh, well, that's what happened yesterday. I was sifting through information. Some new information came in. And what did I find? I found there was a way to move ahead. So I sat down, worked through the issues, and you'll find out what happens later on because I will be doing an unboxing. I got some more equipment for the music studio. Uh, and that's going to present a whole new learning curve for me as well. I mean, this, this, this is what I said. You know, what I said. Every time you upgrade, that's leveling up. But every time you level up, there's a whole new thing to learn. In other words, you're starting from the beginning again, but not a new level. Yeah, you, you know, yeah, you're starting at the beginning again, but you're starting at, at, at a new level. But every new level at the beginning, and you know, every, every new level has a beginning, and so you're starting all over again. And it's the same feeling. It's, you know, you, you're not too sure exactly where you are. You got to sort of figure things out, and it takes you a while when the new thing comes in. And say, we'll do an unboxing. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll bring that in here. We'll do unboxings in here as well. Uh, bring in a little bit more content uh, and I'll show you how the upgrade and you'll start seeing how the upgrade comes in and affects what goes on here now the upgrade is not going to happen immediately because there's a number of things that have to be done uh, in order to get this upgrade into its proper place uh, and I don't know if I'll be able to get all of the stuff that needs to be done needs to be done done and so that's going to cause a bit of an issue. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I think that the uh, equipment will arrive on Friday. That's why it's, I, have, I haven't checked my email yet. I'm going to check my email to see if I've got a notification as to when the uh, 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 the equipment is going to arrive. I mean, it's already it's already been purchased online. Uh, I got the notification that the um, sale went through with the credit card and everything. Everything's fine. So now it's a matter of waiting for the uh, shipping notification. So when the shipping notification comes in, that usually tells me I have a day or two that, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> that I'm going to get stuff. Uh, but well, uh, that, that's going to come in within a day or two. So I haven't done, I haven't done that yet. I haven't checked that yet. Uh, and so I'll do that later on today. I also have to do more work on the uh, uh, machine shop warehouse. That's where I'm going to be doing the toys DIY. A lot of work has actually been done. I'm getting a lot of stuff cleared out. A lot of things have been cleared out of the, uh, of the warehouse. A lot more has to be done, but a lot of work has been done already. Uh, and that means uh, we will be able to move ahead, be moving ahead faster. Uh, I should be, as I said, I was hoping to do that yesterday, the film yesterday, but with the work that I had to do for the kitchen diner, I had to go get some supplies for the kitchen diner. And that meant I had, mean I had to go walk. I didn't film it because it was raining outside, so I really couldn't bring the camera with me. Uh, by the time I did that, and by the time I finished doing the work on the music studio, uh, I wasn't able to have, an, I didn't have enough time to finish the work in the where, machine, machine shop warehouse that I wanted to do that would have allowed me to start filming back there. But hopefully, let's get let's, let's see if I can get that done today. I have work to do in the kitchen diner. I have some baking to do in the kitchen diner. I'm going to make some cookies, and I make, I'm going to make uh, the coconut uh, the uh, co uh, coconut banana brownies again. Uh, the coconut banana brownies are really, really good. Uh, because you're using real coconut water, you're using bananas in there, all of a sudden, that, that, that treat, the brownie treat, which is not really, it was really, really considered... <clears throat> which is really considered junk food, all of a sudden becomes real food. You know, it becomes healthy for you because you've got a lot of nutrients in there. So then that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to pack my snacks with a lot of nutrients in it. And that way, uh, uh, because I do, see, I do abuse my body, you know, the, the lengthy hours, you know. Uh, I mean, yesterday was, was a 15, 16-hour day. 
that's what kind of what shifted things forward. And if they're 12 hours, it's not bad. But if they're if they're 16 hours and more, then you know that ca starts causing problems, and that's what sort of pushes the day forward. Uh, but I think uh, that's enough for now because I will be coming back. There's more stuff to do today, more to talk about. So <laughs> I'll see you in the next segment of the BTS vlogs. Until then, take it easy. Have a good day. Good evening. Good night. Whatever it is for you. Uh, <laughs> see you in a little bit. Democratic Earth. Earth.